what's up, it's Ben here. So I just found out that Weeble has a paper trading competition that you can enter and winners could win a $100 gift card from Amazon. So this got me thinking, since I don't have to use my real money to play, I could just go ham on this competition to test out different methods to see if I can make money. Unfortunately, in order to play, you'll need to have a funded Weeble account, which it's easy to set up. If you don't know how, I have a step-by-step -step video to show you. Plus you get two free stocks and one of them could be valued up to $1,400 if you fund your account. So if you want to invest but don't want to risk losing money, you can just start out with that. Since they have the paper trading competition going on, I thought it would be cool to give you a quick walkthrough on how to use the Weibo stock screener to see if your trades could be profitable. You can use the screener on your phone but it's very limited. So I'm gonna go use the desktop version to show you instead. Let's hop into the desktop. So first things first, what you wanna do is sign into your Weibo account and click on trade. Once you click on trade, you'll be taken to a platform where you can start trading and screening stocks. So the screener is right over here on the left side. So click on that and it'll be, you be taken to this right over here. And there's basic screeners already set up, but let me go give you a quick walkthrough of this. So region right now, it's selected in the United States, but you have China and Canada if you want. So I'm gonna be investing in United States. So I'm gonna click United States. So exchange, your basic exchange is all over here. Sector energy renewable energy commodities and stuff like that is all over here if you want to invest in a specific sector you can but as of now i don't discriminate so i'm going to choose all so quotes indicator i'm going to hit the plus so currently i'm going to be looking into market cap uh price and volume but if you want you could choose any of these in if for you but specifically in my case i'll just choose these for now and then for market cap Anything that's a billion, I want something that's, you know, a bigger companies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna max it all out. For price, looking into $5, oops, $5 to max, something that's not a penny stock. And then scroll down a little for volume. I want something that's, you know, relatively, you can move in and out relatively quick. So it's gonna be 500K to max it out. Anything that's you know like super low in terms of volume, you're you're not going to be able to move in and out quick, as something that's trading like you know five hundred thousand. So for financial indicator, this is what they have currently. So if you're looking for dividend stocks that you want to invest in, this would be great. The yield is there. Any of the financials is all here if you want to use. But currently, uh, I'm gonna do be doing the Weeble paper trading competition. So I'm not gonna use any of the financial indicators since they have like a time frame, and this is basically for something that's long term. So for the competition, it's more short term. So I'm gonna just exit that out and not use it at all. And for technical indicators, you have this preset right now. So a MACD golden cross is basically when there's going to be a bullish breakout. That's when a short-term moving average crosses over the long-term moving average. And as for the oversold indicators, it's referring that the stock is basically trading lower than the perceived price and has the potential to bounce back up, but it's only a potential. And most of these indicators are just bullish indicators, meaning that these stocks or your screening could possibly trend up. So you could work with any of these if you want, but in, in this case, I'm just gonna skip over them. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and I'm gonna use analyst ratings. So you have all buy, strong buy, buy, hold, and then underperform. And then there's sell too, but uh, the screen is not capturing the sell part. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on strong buy because I think, you know, the computer might know a little bit more than me than I do, so strong buy. So right now, currently, you'll see a list of 21 results. So I'm gonna go ahead, I actually did a little research already beforehand prior to uh, recording this. So if you just basically click on one of them, let's say just deck, right? So this, this uh, symbol right here, deck, or this company right here, satisfies all of this uh, indicator that I chose. So if you go on the right side, you have the quotes, news, financials, press release, analysis, or basically add uh, widget settings. So if you click on here, you can basically add any of the widgets you want and then it'll go on your or quotes, news, financial, or press release, or analysis. So right now, I'm gonna hit done right now because I think I'm okay with all of this. 
So what I like to use is the support and resistance chart right over here. So I clicked on deck, right? So the support level is right over here. So if it touches support, it's near support. It's more, it's most likely you're gonna bounce back up, but it's not always, but most likely. So right now, if the resistance right here, so I'm expecting this to go down in the future. So, and because it's in the future, that's going to go down. I'm probably not gonna invest in this one because I wanna see something that's moving up relatively quick. So right now I'm gonna give it a hard pass, but the one I chose right over here is AXSM. So I'm gonna click on this one. So this one looks is looking good right over here. So support right over here is down here and resistant is up here. So basically it's gearing more towards the support level, but I'm expecting this to shoot back up. So if it's here, I'm more likely, I am have an incline to buy and hoping that it's gonna shoot back up. And this is because I'm gonna use the Weeble paper trading uh, money to trade this to see if my prediction is right. And then again, this is super low risk or no risk at all because I'm just using fake money to trade and try to see if I win this competition. So I'm gonna be looking at this stock and obviously if you pan over to the right over here, my screen is not big enough so it's gonna be cutting, oh, I can actually move this right over here. So you have everything on the right side, it's gonna, if you pan over to the right, you see all the numbers, the low, high volumes, turnover, average volume and stuff like that. So it satisfies all the indicators that's listed here. So if I grow the, scroll down a little bit more, I have another one to show you. It's A-L-E-C over here. So this one is right here in the middle. So I, if I were to go into the competition, I'm gonna be thinking about this one too because it's right here. You don't know if it's gonna go up and down, but. Most likely right now it's trending upwards since, you know, was it April, May? It's trending upwards, so I'm gonna buy and see where it goes to. If I win the competition, then great. If not, then oh well. So that's just a general idea of the stock screener. I hope it helps to get an understanding of how it feels and how it works for you, whether you wanna do long-term or short-term investing. And that's pretty much it on how to use the Weibo screener. There's no right or wrong way to set it up as long as you know what you're looking for. Plus, you can always test it out by using the Weibo paper trading platform. And that's really valuable for beginners who's starting out. There's no risk in terms of losing your money if you paper trade, but a lot of knowledge and experience to gain from it. So I hope you like this video. If so, give it a like and maybe consider subscribing as I use my real money to invest in the stock market. And I'll catch you all later.